my name is Lisa and I'm working as a user experience designer for Actonic. In today's demo, we're going to cover two use cases. One, how to use Timesheet Builder as a team lead. And secondly, how to use Timesheet Builder as a team member or an individual contributor. So first, let's dive into the team lead position. Here you can see the team's overview of Timesheet Builder. It's basically your cockpit as a team leader to have a look at everything that's going on. So as you can spot here on the left, you can see who is in your team. In this case, it's me and also Andreas. I'm currently the team lead and also a team member. He is a team member, but also a co-team lead. I assigned this role to him just that we have shared responsibility. With this role and our unique permissioning scheme, you're basically able to set who is able to view work logs, manage them, and also manage the whole team. So in case of, for example, a sick leave or a vacation, you're not the only one who has all the permissions. And if we imagine this, this team would be like five people big, then that's also quite convenient to have someone that helps you to manage it. Another feature of this team section is the timeline view. In this timeline view, we are able to see what the people have worked on. Let's have a look at what we have worked on last week. So you can see that Andreas has logged one day last week and I logged four hours. You can now click here to get even more deeper insight into everything that is happening. So for example, if I'm clicking on issue and I can also pin it down by having a look at what the people have logged work for. So it's the usual comment that you're setting while you're logging time will be displayed here. In this case, I can see that Andreas has spent one day and in this one day, he spent one hour brainstorming the concept for the launch campaign. He finalized the video and prepared the materials for the launch event. And this took him 30 minutes. And I can also see that he shot the campaign content, content and edited it. And he also worked on a budget estimation. And this took him 30 minutes. So overall, one day. And I can also see on which days he has worked on what, which is quite convenient for me as a team lead. So as you can see, it's quite easy to have a look at what your team members are doing and you can also set who is able to see what. We also have another feature coming up but more on that on a different time. So now let's cover the second use case. What's happening for me as an individual contributor or a regular member of a team? For that let's go to another section. It's called my timesheets. On my timesheets I can basically lock my time however I want it. We have different possibilities. One possibility is the button on the top that you can spot right here. Another one is just to click on any time slot that you want and then there will be a pop-up, the same as on work time. And you can select for which team you want to lock the time, on which issue you want to lock the time, how much time did it uh, took you, and also when you started it, on which date, and you can also just write down a brief description of what you have done. But not only that, you can also have a look on at what have you done this week, for example, or in the month. So in this case, I'm currently logged in as Andreas. I can see that he has worked six hours to shoot the campaign content and edit it. So he spent six hours on this DVD six ticket. So this is quite convenient to lock your time and don't get lost in all the to-dos that you have. This also isn't a bit not too suitable for your workflow. There's another option to lock your time. So in this case, you just click on an issue, for example, like that. Then you are here, write the story. And in this case, you have this little timer feature. I'm going to start it. And while I'm now explaining what this does, the time will be tracked in the background. So in this case, you can easily click start and click pause when you're finished with your task and everything will run in the background. So 
basically the days are over where you need to write down how much time you spent on what and then need to uh, pin it in your program or in your app afterwards. You can just do it like that and integrate it into your workflow. So for example, I'm now almost finished with explaining what I wanted to talk about. And in this case, I contributed a bit like one minute to this ticket because I explained something in our launch event. So when I'm ready, I'm just clicking it's done. I can allocate the team. So in this case, it's our product team. And we are adding the work log as Insa. And Andreas is also able to do it because I gave him the permission to manage work logs and see for other members. I will type down that it only took me one minute and then I can click save. If you are using the timer feature on a longer period like you usually would do, it just counts down the hours and you don't have to worry about anything. Just clicking stop once you've finished and then start again when you start with your new task. So I guess that summarizes our product inside.